Hi guys, Jessica back here, and today we are talking about three ways to impress the examiner in writing task one. Um, so in our course, Three Keys IELTS, every strategy, everything we teach you is directly connected to what the examiner is looking for. It's directly connected to the definition of seven, the definition of eight, and these three things I'm going to tell you they're all, they all come from this system. Okay, so number one, um, in order to get a high score for um, task achievement, you must only give the examiner the most important numbers. Do not describe everything you see, okay? You can't. If you put in too many numbers, because you're like worried, if you put in too many numbers, your task score goes down to a five. So don't do that. Okay, so for example, in change over time, the most important numbers are the beginning, the end, the highest, the lowest. Okay, that's for each line on the line graph. Those should be the only numbers you put in your essay. Of course, for static, it's a little bit different what the key numbers are. And then for maps and diagrams, what the key points are there. Of course, also a little bit different. Um, in our course, naturally, I give you uh, all the information you need to find the specific information and include only what the examiner wants in that essay. Okay, so that's the first thing. Only include the most important numbers in your essay. Next, for vocabulary, you have to show that you can use some interesting, unique vocabulary. That is difficult to do in task one. So, for example, don't just say increase dramatically. Okay, every student says increase dramatically. Don't do that, that is a band score six. If you want higher than a band score six for vocabulary, you need to say things like um, grew impressively or exhibited a shocking jump, <laughs> okay? Um, these are the interesting words. If you try and stay academic, if you try and stay uh, formal, if you try and stick to what the textbook says, you are not going to score highly for vocab. I can promise you that, okay? I've been working with IELTS for 12 years. I know what I'm talking about. So, um, vocabulary, interesting, unique. Impress the examiner, okay? Push them into thinking of a seven for you. Last thing, you have to look at this information, look at these numbers, and organize it clearly into two groups. Simple is best. The simplest way to organize all this information is always the best way. So, for example, if there's a key, right, if there's a little box to the side telling you what each bar is or what each line is, like Britain, um, in Britain in England, <laughs> uh, Britain, France, Spain, for example, um, if those are the three lines, then organize it by those lines. Put Britain in paragraph two, France and Spain in paragraph three, for example, organize it by country, okay? Two clear groups, two clear body paragraphs. All right, if you're ready for more um, of a complete system with every strategy you need for any task one question you might see on the exam, go ahead and check out our online course, the only one with a guaranteed score increase. It is called Three Keys IELTS, available now at allearsenglish.com forward slash K-E-Y-S. All right, that's it for me today. I hope this information made task one a little clearer for you and a little more high scoring. Catch you later.